Hello, Brave Awakened Ones. This is Veronica of High Rum Holistics, Lady V. Thank you, supporters, subscribers, and Patreons. Please share these videos with those who you think it might resonate with. If you're interested in any of my services, books, merch, t-shirts, webinars, sessions, and higher realm magic information and meditations, please visit higherrealmholistics.com. Hello, Brave Awakened Ones, Veronica, Lady V here. This is a topic um, I've sort of covered in the past. I've made a few videos already, so if you're interested, I'm not going to go in depth into the different type of souls that has been revealed to me and how, you know, our souls the, are created and, th and such. I've already made videos on that, so please um, look for it, okay? Um, the topic uh, is the body temple and the soul, okay? Um, like, this has been on my mind for a while to talk about, okay? But it's on my mind even more because of the attacks, quote-unquote, I see going on in the mainstream um, that has seeped into the New Age movement talking about the body, in particular, the human body, the homo sapien sapien body, okay? Now that is what I have to get in depth, depth about, talking about evolution, okay? Again, if this doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't resonate with you, okay? I'm just explaining from what I know, from what I was shown by my oversoul, by Thoth, he was the one actually who took me out to the cosmos to show me this. When it comes to the birth of the soul, he was the one that, that showed me this a while ago. Okay? Um, so I hope I do this justice talking about this topic. Uh, what disturbed me and triggered me to make this video was people talking about human beings and please understand, when I say human, I'm not just talking about us in this, this body that looks like this. It's human. That is one of the lies. Lie number one is that only those on earth here, homo sapiens sapiens, are considered human. No. The way it was shown to me, and I really truly do believe this, and I always did since I was a child, Human is a soul category, just like there's animal soul category. All right, let's do a quick breakdown. Again, if you want more in-depth, I already made the real in-depth video, diagrams I drew in all, okay? Made them in 2018, so please go look for that. My channel hasn't been around that long, so it's only been a little over a year. So um, when it comes to souls, and the way I was shown they were formed, they're first formed into organic and inorganic categories, okay? The inorganic or crystals are planetary and cosmic beings. Those are the inorganic. And then the organic, you have plants, animals, human, angelic and uh, elemental okay now there's like some leeway when it comes to certain things like um, I I've always known dolphins uh, dolphins squids octopus and whales were different from other animals it's like they're very different like think of whales and dolphins how they live in the ocean and people, you know, who don't know, call them fish, but they're not fish, they're mammals, okay? I, it was made very clear to me that dolphins, octopus, and squid, and whales are elemental souls. They're higher intelligent beings. They're not part of the animal kingdom at all, okay? It's like the, the difference of the human soul compared to the animal soul, the way it was shown to me, it's like taking, saying that a, a dog is the same as a fern. 
A dog is not a fern. You can't even go there. A dog is not a fern. Okay, a fern's not going to get up and walk around. A fern's not going to get up and sit on your lap. Okay, uh, but a plant can give you comfort. Do plants feel? Yes. Do plants uh, respond to certain stimuli? Yes, they respond to certain stimuli, but they have their own category of soul. Do they have free will? Well, they could bend to the left or the right for the light. But that's that's more that's not actually free will. That's that's just them going towards the light, you know, um, which is what most plants do. So it, comparing the human soul to the animal soul would would the comparison would be that ludicrous. That's the way it was shown to me. It would be that ludicrous to compare the human soul to an animal soul. Now the uniqueness of the human soul. Again, it's not just Homo sapiens sapien. That's a human soul. It has to do with free will, which is what, why the wars broke out in the heavens uh, with the angels in the first place. Lucifer did not like that. Once human souls were created, the level of free will the human soul received supersedes the free will of the angelic soul. It simply does. It just is. That's why Lucifer wasn't having it. Okay? And when up, you know, it was Lucifer's boys against Archangel Michael's boys, you know, boys and girls, whatever. <laughs> they don't have sex as the angel. Well, they have, um, they don't have physical sex. They do have, uh, when it comes to, that's another whole story, when it comes to the gender energy. Any which ways. That's another story for another time. But this is, I'm talking about the soul. So when you're saying Palladian or you're saying Octor, uh, Octorian or you're saying Syrian, they're still human souls. They're still human souls. It's the difference of saying I'm from Haiti and I'm from Jamaica. Okay. Or you're from India and you're from, you know, England. That's the difference just has to do with birthplace literally so that is why the human soul let's let's go here because i do have visual aid right <laughs> i do have visual aid let's go into the visual aid please yes here is the animal kingdom chart we've all seen this in school right where uh we were tricked and fooled into thinking this is real that humans actually fall Yes, we're mammals. We are mammals, yes. But we are not part of this animal kingdom at all. We're something completely different. The human soul is something completely different. Okay. Um, where was I going to go next? Do, 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 do. Yeah, this is evolution, what they'd have you believe. I've, I've mentioned several times. I started off. My first degree, uh, my first degree is a dual degree in anthropology and psychology. That was my undergrad. And then when I went to do my master's, I started off with primatology. I actually was writing my dissertation in primatology. And I quit it after, after a few months. I had an ape in the Staten Island Zoo. Her name was Judy. And I had, to, and I was writing my paper on her and it had to do with separation. How do the apes... It was a chimpanzee. How do they respond in separation when they're separated from their children, their babies? Okay, how closely related is that to humans? Because I was always so fascinated with that thing of evolution. I've always believed in divine intervention. That's what I always heard. You know, I was a Catholic schoolgirl from first grade all the way through college. Um, so we were taught divine intervention at a certain point in this so-called evolution. We were taught, you know, we came from these apes and stuff, right? Primates, that's our order, the, the primate order, right? Here we, uh, here we go, the primate order, okay? That we branched off and evolved 
you know, from Australopithecine to uh, Homo habilis and Homo erectus and Homo sapien, and then the final Homo sapien. This is a this would be like Homo erectus right here. Homo habilis. This is like Australopithecine. This would be like Homo habilis. This would be like Homo erectus area. Then this is Homo sapien. This is Homo sapien sapien. Then apparently around here is when they said, yes, God decided to give us a soul. Every living being, inorganic and organic, has a soul. Everything has a soul. Organic and inorganic. So that, that, that was the lie of Catholic school. <laughs> okay? Being raised Catholic and Christian, whatever. Okay? That, yeah, divine intervention came in that humans were given a soul by God. Okay? But, like, I believe inorganic and organic beings have souls. The planet has a soul. Stars have a soul. Okay? Um, so, apparently, we evolved. This is supposed to be evolution that they're teaching in school, and we evolved here. Now, from my understanding now, the divine intervention came in the form of this. This is from the Sumerian tablets, and yes, this is supposed to be the Anunnaki, tree of life. This is them coming and messing with our genes. Now, the way it was shown to me was that, yeah, there, there were Homo sapiens on this planet. Man, as Thoth calls it, man. There was man on this planet. There were homo sapiens on this planet. And then with this divine intervention, and yes, they had souls already. Because every live, everything has a soul. Living being has a soul. My desk does not have a soul. But the tree it came from sure did. Okay. Um, so they came and messed with our genes. This is what I believe. They came and messed with our genes, the Anunnaki. Okay. Now, they had to create a form that could house that soul that could house that level of intelligence that they needed and yes the the body and this is what i found disturbing that i needed to talk on too many times in my hearing that your body's nothing but a meat suit it's just a sack of meat it's a meat suit i find that so disrespectful to the body I mean, it just, it literally disturbs me to hear that. It always has since I was a kid. This is a lot more than a damn meat suit. It's, it's an instrument, as you light workers know. <laughs> yeah. When you're transmuting all that energy and you're grounding in that energy, guess what? If you had the body of a dog, you could not do it. Can animals transmute energy also? Yes, they can. Animals can transmute energy. But not the way the Homo sapien sapien body can. Simply put, just not the way the Homo sapien sapien body can. It's like, what's the best conductor? Okay? Now, when they came along and messed with this okay to create what they felt that they needed all right they did not expect the homo sapien sapien race to evolve to the point that they can match them intellectually spiritually okay this evolution was naturally happening and slowly happening happening they came in and intervened okay that's the way i see it but the human the homo sapien sapien body you know and i don't believe we were like this i don't believe we were just homo erectus that they came and messed with. I honestly believe we were more, we were, you know, we, not that my soul was birthed here, but the, um, the types of humans that were already living here, 
I, I don't believe that they were just, you know, homo habilis. You know, I don't believe they were this. They were just apes, you know, walking around. No, I don't believe that at all. You know, um, I, I do believe they were like Neanderthals. And I'm not even going to bother with the timelines because the timelines that they give, that they teach us are complete bullshit. We all know this. Humans, you know, humans have been on this planet for millions of years, not just a couple of thousand of years. It's been millions of years. Different catastrophic things happen that wiped out back and forth. Yeah. Inky and ill, all that kind of stuff. All these wars breaking out and stuff like that, wiping it wiping homo sapiens sapiens out and stuff like that yes all that i believe happened okay so i just really want to make this video to speak on the human the the homo sapiens sapien body and how it is a temple that is housing that very special human soul okay now can See, and another thing that's very special about the human soul, on top of the level of free will that the human soul has, it's also the soul that can evolve to the point of taking on the energies and making it the spirit. Like you hear somebody have the wolf spirit. I had a client who, the minute I saw her on video conference, I was like, holy shit, bear. That's all I could think of, bear, bear. And, and she was like, oh, yeah. And she was talking about, I was like, okay, so you already know. She had a bear spirit. Okay? Human souls can come in these great combinations, but it takes the evolution of the soul to get to that point. Okay? Now, when I say muggles and normies, I'm talking about just the plain human soul. No add-ons. No angelic soul add-on. I have angelic soul add-on, okay? Um, I have, ele well, no, I don't have elemental. Like my sister, she is human and elemental soul add-on, okay? So um, you could have spirit animal add-on also, like the person I met. She was, she was human and bear, bear spirit. So you have that. The, the, it's like the personality traits almost of that animal, okay? Only the human soul can do that. Not even the angelic soul could do that. And that's how the human soul evolves into a master soul, okay? Are they, are they of course, they're, they're different um, strata in, in the angelic realm, in the uh, elemental realm, yes, okay? But the way it was shown to me, only the human soul could have, you know, be human soul, elemental, it takes some elemental as it evolves, e elemental soul, animal, animal spirit, elemental soul spirit, animal soul spirit, angelic soul spirit to become this amazing being to become a master soul. Only the human soul can do that. That's the way it was shown to me. And only this form, this is why they say, you know, all these aliens that they're talking about throughout the galaxies, they're bipeds. Okay? They stand erect. Two arms, two legs. They may take, like, I know they say there's the mantis. I mean, you don't have to look like this. Okay? You don't have to have features like this. The features are different. Okay? But it's still a human soul with that type of free will, with the ability of that soul to evolve a certain way. A plant soul will never evolve the way a human soul will evolve, okay? A dog soul will never evolve the way a human soul is going to evolve. It just won't. It has its limitations. It has its lane. Stay in your lane. It has its lane, 
okay the same way our soul is not the uh, us as human souls i have a master soul okay um and of course you know there's different tiers if you study the kabbalion you know there's different tiers when it comes to human soul evolution um now you know when it comes to dimensions okay um where earth is pushing into 5d 4d right positive higher four lower five so that's where earth is pushing to earth soul is totally different from our soul okay earth has an inorganic planetary soul therefore her soul evolution is different earth the planetary soul can never take on part angelic part ethereal that's not what it was made for okay a planet earth we'll talk about earth since we're living on earth right earth is made is is housing all these different souls right we're living on earth we're ticks and fleas on earth's back <laughs> That's, that's how I feel sometimes when I get really upset when it's like, oh my God, did I hurt you, Earth? Did I jump too hard? You know, I get like that sometimes because I, I, I have that ever since I had that um, last year when Tho took me out and I got to experience the birthing of the souls and then I, I was literally, it's, I heard, quote unquote, it's not like a voice. I find talking so cumbersome now, it's unreal. But it's like I felt the voice of the planets. I felt the voice of the stars. Um, you know, the empathy. I, I felt the, 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 the hurt, the cries of Earth. I mean, it, was, it was devastating for me, literally devastating. Um, so again, um, the, the different types, you know, again, the, the human soul is the only soul with the highest level of free will. Okay, so I hope I made some type of sense. Let me see. Okay. So again, um, your body is a lot more, this form is a lot more than just some meat suit to disregard, okay? And uh, give it more respect than that because it's the only thing that could house a human soul, okay? It had to get to a certain point of evolution to be able to withstand a human soul. It's like, can you take a engine this is a good example can you take an engine from a bus and stick it into like a Volkswagen no you cannot that little Volkswagen buggy was not made to withstand that bus engine it cannot even run on the same fuel as that bus engine right it can't even run on the same fuel think of it like that everything is so specific there's no such thing as randomness in the universe i was appalled and disgusted i was going to bring them up but it was like the top 10 atheist list came out and it was number one he's this freaking you know uh professor and He's into Darwin, Darwinism and all that kind of BS. And uh, he was talking about the randomness of the universe. And, you know, he wrote all these books about God not, you know, God not existing, outgrowing God, which is his children's book, by the way. Merry fucking Christmas. <laughs> That's his children's book that he's putting out um, just in time for the holidays. Uh, and he was saying how when his child came home from school and was upset because uh, his classmates were talking about Jesus and him and his wife laughed at their son who was in sixth grade at the time. I was like, damn, mm. talk about someone who's going to have to, uh, you know, go to a low vibrating place to start all over again. Uh, and he also had in his, he tweeted, this was a while ago, he tweeted, uh, this woman was talking about 
abortion. She said that she would have a real dilemma whether or not to abort a child, uh, a fetus, if she found out um, it had Down syndrome. And then he said that it would be, it would be a crime for her not to abort it. That why not abort it and, and try again? That that would be the best thing to do. I, I almost threw up because um, I have a friend out in Atlanta who has a daughter with Down syndrome. And I remember when she was pregnant, I remember she had the kid, she was concerned. And, you know, I was in pediatrics nursing for eight years. And I was like, hey, I dealt with many of these babies and this is the exercise you could do to strengthen her because they, they have lax muscle tone in their legs so they could walk uh, slower, you know, take long for them to walk. Also the speech, these exercises you could do to strengthen her tongue and her jaw. And let me tell you, Miss Thing, by the time she was two years old, she was like going up the steps, keeping up with her brothers and sisters, started talking because her mom took it serious. Like I wrote down everything. She was, I'm going to do everything you told me to do. She was on point. She, her and her husband did not stop taking care of that baby. That little girl, she's, I, and she's so cute. Oh my God. Now she's like eight years old. And she always has these curly pigtails. She has my type of hair. Oh my God. She's so freaking cute. Could you imagine just saying aborted? Oh, I feel like crying. Oh my God, because it has down. It has Down syndrome, and um, he was saying also in his Twitter how a an adult pig is literally the life an adult of an adult pig is worth more than the life of a human fetus. This is what these atheists are thinking. Again, he'll be doing it over. Whatever. But it's just disheartening knowing that this is what they're pushing on the college campuses. Of course, he's a professor too, right? This is what they're pushing on Gen Z. This is what they're pushing on Gen Z, and it's just heart-wrenching. So we just have to do our due diligence. The spell is breaking, you know? And how he was saying the life of a baby is not worth as much as the life of an adult. I'm talking a baby already born. He believe in infanticide you know it's just heart-wrenching um any which ways so respect your body it's not just a freaking meat suit don't refer to it as meat suit stop referring to yourself as an animal because you're not and it's not to say the animal's life is not worth something of course it is of course it is but i'm just saying there's a big difference between the animal kingdom and the human kingdom that's the way i see it and there is no difference between it has to do with the body form itself and not only that uh, a palladian body or you know mantis body whatever you want to call them blue avians their bodies may look different because of where they were born the same way uh, somebody born in Sweden looks extremely different from somebody like me born in the Caribbean with my darker skin. Okay? There's a difference. There's a reason why. All right? It's environmental at that point. But the soul is in the same is in the same category. It's the same order. All right? So, respect your body because your body is what's housing this very very special type of soul. And not only that, your body, not only is housing this soul, it needed to be this in order to house this type of soul, but it also, as a light worker, as you know, your body is a sacred instrument. It is channeling energy, yes? So how is it just a meat suit? If it's being used to channel energy, to heal, to collapse timelines, to do all of that. No, it, it is your body doing that. To ground in the energy coming in. All those energies coming in. Grounding it into Gaia. That's what we're here for, right? Sending out energy to heal. To spread love and heal and change the whole vibration of a place. Your body is helping you do that. Your body is doing it. It's serving as that instrument. It is the channel. Okay? It's like, you know, it's like a hose. If you have a hose, 
I mean, think of that. If you have a hose, but it doesn't have like a sprayer at the end, how annoying is it to try to water your plants without the sprayer handle at the end if it's just an open hose? Think of your body as that sprayer to direct and control what is happening. So that's why you got to take care of your body and respect your body. I thank my body every day. I'm like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yes, girl, you're fine. You're good. You're strong. I thank my body and I appreciate my body every second of every day. Every second of every day. I said, dang, yes, body, I'll take care of you. I am fortunate. You know, it's like I bump my leg really hard and I got a deep cut it and everything in my, my uh, calf and I'm just like upset. So I'm like, okay, I'm sorry, body. I was so stupid. I wasn't paying attention. I, I see my body as a sacred instrument. Okay. So I hope that helps. All right. And correct people when you hear them say that it, it's, it's another agenda. It really is. It's an agenda to have us disrespect our bodies and not understand our bodies are sacred also. So don't fall for the agenda. And it's see, it has seeped into the whole New Age movement thing. And again, I don't call myself New Age because it's to me, it's another religion. All right. All right. Lady V out. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Oh, yeah. I do have my webinar coming up on Sunday. Okay. At 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it the uh, live I did with the with the triple goddess that has triggered many people activated many people into the goddess energy and i want to take that to the to the to the highest right to the ninth i want to really blow that up so that's what i want to do sunday um to really ignite that goddess energy and of course has nothing to do with with your with your sex you could be a, a male or a female it doesn't matter we all have the goddess energy within us right so uh, it's just stronger in biological women, by the way. All right, Lady V out. Head over to HighRealmHolistics.com.